Hi everyone, hope you guys are doing okay. Um, so, in this new video, I would like to talk about some passages that I found in several short sentences that I found to be the most noteworthy or that they meant something for me specifically. Um, and so, on page 20, this is where I found the first one. Um, it was talking about the flow in your writing and it started with, but if you accept that writing is hard work and that's what it feels like while you're writing, then everything is just as it should be. Your labor isn't a sign of, de isn't a sign of defeat, it's a sign of engagement. The difference is all in your mind, but what a difference. I found it interesting that earlier they were saying um, writers are not supposed to recognize the flow in their work, but rather let the reader recognize the flow. And I found it interesting because in this passage, they use the word engagement. And when you think of engagement and you think of the word flow, there is differences. It has a different feel to it. Flow, when you think about it, it's sort of a more of a gentle word and has a gentler, a gentler meaning. And I found it interesting how they were saying that when you think that it's flowing, you think that it is easy in another way because you know where the ending is and nothing is really a surprise. So where is the engagement? Where is the excitement that you need when you are writing something that you truly care about, you're passionate about? And really, it all comes back to the idea that if you find that your writing is flowing and it's doing what you want it to do, then it's not really carrying out its purpose because you see the ending, but you're not learning anything new. It's just things that you already know. You're using your own knowledge. There is no learning process that is happening. And that's why I found that to be interesting. And then in this other passage that I found, it was on page 30 and it starts with, if you want the reader to feel your sincerity, this is talking about um, being sincere in your writing. And it follows with, your sentences have to enact sincerely, verbally, syntactically, and rhythmically. They have to reveal the signs of sincerity, a, modest, a modesty and directness, just as you do when you're thinking about sincerely, when you're talking sincerely. If you speak sincerely with someone, but in a voice and manner that suggests you're being ironic, who would believe you're sincere? And I found this interesting because it really talks about how intention matters a lot and when you're writing your work you don't really know how the reader will interpret it to be they're not in the same room as you you're not going to read it to them so really it's up to your words to tell the story that you wanted to tell and even as Klinkenborg said earlier about reading your work aloud to see the rhythm and how it has to be subtle but it also has to be quiet um, in both beat and music. And I found it interesting and insightful how he uses connection between writing and the music because really they're both two different things. But when you really look at it, each piece has to have its own pace. And as he said, its own beat. It follows a set of patterns and it's regulated in that way. And there's patterns of repetition, that's what I meant. And, but yeah, that's what I found to be interesting. And overall, I like these two passages because they really spoke a lot about having a clear, precise way to see your work. It's supposed to be sincere and you can have fun at the same time. It's supposed to be exciting. It's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to flow in the sense that it's not supposed to be easy. It's a challenging process to write. And I like that the author was hinting at that because it really does matter. Intention does matter, as I said before. And yeah, that's really what I liked about the passages.